फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ ग्रोइंग अ स्वीट पोटैटो स्वीट पोटैटो इज अ ट्यूबर क्रॉप एंड मोस्टली ग्रोन इनटू द विंटर सीजन एंड इट्स रूट्स व्हिच स्टोर्स द एनर्जी आर कंज्यूम फॉर आवर फूड वी आर गोइंग टू ग्रो दिस सीजन स्वीट पोटैटो इनटू अ हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू propagate or how to start the sweet potato into a hydroponic system and which is the system most suitable for it all that information is coming up in this video so stay connected to the video till the end let's start the video so friends the sweet potato as i have explained you is a tuber crop and it is propagated mostly with the two method either we can use the old season tuber to regrow the its vine or we can use the vine and root it to get the new sweet potato into the production most commonly the vines are fastest way to regrow the sweet potato plant and get the good harvest but if you don't have that vine then we can start sweet potato from its tuber and prepare the nursery once the nursery develops some vines we can use those vine to regrow the sweet potato now as we are going to grow it into a hydroponic system then we must choose the system which is suitable for it as the sweet potato is a tuber crop it requires the less water on the later part of its life cycle to develop the tuber now in the pure hydroponic system like dwc nft or dft the the water is always there so that sweet potato plant never get into the that stage of a water stress and will not develop or store the energy into the roots and will not get the good harvest if by chance some roots are develop also it will not of the good quality so we will not use any of the water system for the growing the sweet potato the most suitable system for growing the sweet potato is either we can use the media bucket or the grow bed system also we need to check what type of media we are going to use normally coco peat is prefer as it is a soft in nature and it allows the root to grow freely the other media like clay balls or the pebbles will not give the root enough space to grow so the coco peat we are going to use as a media now for this season we are going to grow sweet potato hydroponically into our grow bed system which you can see behind me but before sowing we need to prepare this plant for good germination so how to prepare that plant or how to prepare those vine so that we get the good germination and a maximum yield i will demonstrate you how to prepare the vines for the sowing so let's see how to prepare the vines for the sowing for that first we collect few of the vines from our nursery and then we'll make the cuttings watch the video till the end and if you find this video interesting and useful then give me a like also share it with the like minded people express your view in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve let's watch the video don't forget to subscribe so now we have got this vines from our nursery and we'll start the cutting for it now the first thing we need to understand is the sweet potato grows from the nodes and we are going to grow it into this grow bed which is 1 and 1/2 feet wide so what we need to do we need to maximize the number of nodes into the bed so that from each node it is a possibility we will get the one tuber for that what we'll do we'll try to maximize the number of node per bed so for that it is around 1 and 1/2 feet roughly like this so we need to bury this much amount of the vine plus couple of nodes we need to keep it outside so we are going to make the nodes around this length so if any leaves are on over there we need to remove all those leaves also like this so this is the vine these are the leaves we need to cut those leaf 
and prepare all the sticks without any leaf. So it will start germinating quickly. At the time, we should also remove any portion which is dried or the rotten. So we are removing this leaf for all this plant to prepare the cuttings. So this is how we need to prepare all our sticks for sowing. So now you can see that we have almost completed the preparation of the cuttings like this. Now we will sow this into the beds. So now you can see that our cuttings are ready and we are going to sow them into these beds. Now we have taken that full width of the bed for the sowing and we will keep them around uh, one feet apart. So each tuber will get a chance to grow well. So for sowing, we will simply do dig the small nick around one and a half to two inch. We will burrow this keeping one node on each side open. At least one node. You can keep the two nodes also. So all the nodes in between will develop the roots and from that we will get the some tubers. So this is how simply we can sow this all the plants into this bed. Now here you can see that this way we are going to complete all the sowing for a, this sweet potato plant vine. Now for fertilizing this, then the first period, the vine growth is important. So we will keep the nitrogen on the higher side and grow our vine well. Once the vine develops to the 5 to 6 feet length, then we will start giving them more of the potash and the phosphorus. That will develop the tuber well. We will update you on the growth and the development of the tubers into future with a separate video. But till then, you also collect your sweet potato wines from somewhere and grow your wines. Happy growing!